Achieve.com and today's video I want to talk on how to run a sub two hour half marathon. I know a lot of you out there are trying to get below that this standard and to get to 159, 59 for the half marathon. And I can tell you from experience, okay, this is a this is a picture of me finishing the 2007 California International Marathon in the sub 220 barrier that I was I was trying so hard for so many years to break and I finally did it and the same principles that I want to share with you on these videos and in on rundreamachieve.com all the free content that I have on the site as well as the videos that I create uh, I really want you to continue to remind yourself that this is a long-term game okay you're your pursuit to break a two hour half marathon may come in the next year. It may come in five years. It may take you a decade from, from now to get. The bottom line is you have to have that mindset. You have to have that drive that I'm going to do whatever it takes to get to the point where I can run under two hours for the half marathon. And there are a lot of athletes. There are a lot of hardworking athletes that are around the world that are trying to break this time that you're going for and that that don't do it so what is the difference between the athletes that are out there running 159 59 or faster for the for the half marathon as opposed to the athletes that are out there maybe running 220 or 230 or you know really trying hard to get to a point where they can sustain that nine minutes and nine seconds per mile for 13.1 miles or 21.1 kilometers um, you know, it goes beyond just you having the, the ability. You have to have more of, you know, you, you can't just rely on your talent, okay? Um, I, I can tell you that I had minimal talent. Uh, somebody that's, you know, looking at this time for a marathon, you may think that that uh, is somebody that's very talented that can do that. I, I hate to tell you, but uh, I had limited capability when I first started running, okay? I started running in 1992 when I was 15 years old. I'm 43 now, retired from the sport just by just a couple years ago. But this, what you see here on this screen, the reason why I'm making this particular video is I want you to see this. This is the result of process. It's the point, it's it's the preparation, the 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 daily actions, it's the getting out the door when you don't want to. It's all the hard work that nobody gets to see. Nobody really sees what they see is this they see the end result they see wow how on earth did he run this fast for the for a marathon what you fail to see is all of the hard work all of the the setbacks and struggles and um ebbs and flows of training all the doubt that i had over the years that's why i wanted to want to have this on the screen i want you to know that I'm just like you. There's no difference between you and I. Okay, if you're trying to break two hours for a half marathon, you have to have something more than just getting out the door and putting in the heavy work. You can't just rely on work. You've got to rely on your, your mental preparation, your mindset, your belief in what you're doing. You have to pay attention to nutrition. You have to um, visualize success on a daily basis. See what you're wanting to do before it happens. I, I cannot stress this enough how critical and important uh, mental preparation and your subconscious mind is. You got to remember, I want you to also remember that uh, prior to the start of this race in 2007, it was held December 4th of 2007 in Sacramento, California. My personal best for the marathon was two hours, 40 minutes, and two seconds. I had run 50-54 uh, for 10 miles prior to this and 107-06 for the half marathon but I had never gotten the marathon right until this morning. So if you're having difficulty breaking the two-hour marathon, maybe you're a 230 marathoner and you see running 159.59 as your end goal, it's something you want to do, it's something that you believe in, it's something that you think about all the time, you have to continue to, to see yourself, visualize yourself doing it daily. Because I was when I was still running 240 for the marathon, I was always, I mean continually, constantly every single day thinking about getting across the finish line of a marathon with 221.59 on the clock. Everything went right this morning and this was the end result. I, I kind of, I, I was, I exceeded what I even thought I was capable of doing. 
Uh, you know, I was trying to break two hours and 22 minutes, not necessarily two hours and 20 minutes, but I did know that it was, it, I, was pos I was capable of doing it. And the same with you. You have to not only get out the door, do those hard training uh, workouts that we talk about. You have to do the VO2 max workouts where you're running it at your 3K to 5K race pace. Get out there and do those, those repeat you know, 200s to, to repeat two mile reps on the track. Get to a point where you're you're always thinking about progression. You know that early on in your training phase, it's going to be difficult. You're not going to be able to do very long tempo runs. Maybe your tempo runs might be between two and four miles early on. And later on, when you're very fit, you'll be able to do tempo runs between like eight to 12 miles in distance. Continue to remind yourself, this is a long-term game, okay? You, you want to have the short-term goals, but know that to break a two-hour half marathon, you know, how to run a sub two hour half marathon comes down to persistence and consistency. It's getting out the door daily, continuing to do the things that your competitors are not willing to do. You know, I, the question I want to ask you is how, pers how dedicated are you? How badly do you want to break this two hour half marathon? If you truly want to do it, if you want to take your game to a, the next level, go to rundreamachieve.com. I have a running course specifically for athletes such as yourself that are trying to break the two-hour half marathon. It's the sub two-hour half marathon domination course. Okay, it's a it's a mixture of video tutorials that I teach. Uh, it's sort of like a one-on-one -on -one coaching session that you and I work together. Uh, we talk a lot about different training tips and training strategies, uh, not only mindset but tempo runs, how you're supposed to prepare for your long runs, how to conduct your long runs. Uh, there's a lot of different specific types of training that we do and mindset tips, mindset strategies that we go over in that course. Um, and at the end of the course, it concludes with a 16 week training schedule where you, you are following the exact, pretty much the exact same types of training uh, strategies that I used to run this time for the marathon. Okay. So, I've, like I said, I've also run 107.06 for the half marathon, so I know what it takes to break the two-hour half marathon. I know it. Uh, running 159.59 for the half is very competitive, and, and that's coming from somebody that's run 219 for the marathon. I still think somebody that can go out and run under two hours for the half marathon had better have done their homework. They have. You have to have a, a, a strong endurance uh, foundation to run a sub-two-hour half marathon. You also have to have a somewhat of a you have to have a little bit of talent for that but you also have to have an enormous uh, capability of getting out the door putting in the work on a consistent basis and the the ability to rely on your work ethic to become a, a sub two hour half marathoner um, you know to run under these times we have to be focused you cannot just be merely interested uh, especially the faster you run for the half marathon or the or any distance you know, there's a massive difference between interest and commitment, okay? If I was just interested in, in running 222, trust me, I would have never run this time, ever. I, I had setbacks just like any other athlete. Uh, I had to take my licks just, just like anybody else. You know, I, I started off running the mile, and high school is a 530, uh, a 530 miler. I ran 530 for the mile uh, and 1130 for the two mile as a freshman in high school. Okay, they're decent times, but they those times don't equate to 219.35. The reason why I was able to do this was because I ran consistently from 1992 all the way up to 2007 when I achieved this goal. And I I was out doing double workouts. I was out doing long runs. Um, I was out every single holiday, my birthday, you, you name it. I was out there putting in the work. And so what I teach on these, on rundreamachieve.com, on the training programs that I have, the running courses that I've created, the videos that I make, I, I really rely on what did I learn? What was I doing to get the results that I got? And how can I transfer that to you and to other athletes that watch these videos, that go to rundreamachieve.com, that read my content, that watch my videos? What can I do to get you beyond what you think you're incapable of doing. Right now, you're trying to break a two-hour half marathon. So how to run a, a sub-two-hour half marathon, there's an enormous big piece of the puzzle that most people miss. And 
I, I really believe that the biggest issue a lot of athletes are having is mindset. It comes down to psychological issues in, in the race because I too had to overcome them as well. You have got to get to a point where you absolutely are certain you can do this. And hard work in and of itself is not going to get you to that goal. You have got to believe in yourself. You have to re rely on your mental training, your mental tenacity. When you get out in the race and you're at like mile eight or nine in the race, or you're, you know, you hit the 16K point in, in, in the race and you've got those last few kilometers left, you've got to rely on that your gut and your and your mindset and your strength and, and all the hard work that you've put in leading into the, your upcoming race to get to a point where you can cross that finish line in one hour, 59 minutes and 59 seconds or faster, just like I did here, okay? It's just about persistent, consistent work, staying on it every single day, doing the necessary work, doing the mental training, which is a big piece, like I said, that, that a lot of athletes do not spend as much time on because we all know how to work hard. Okay, we can get on the track, we can, you know, we can put in the, the repeat Ks on the track, the repeat miles, we can go out and do the, the fartlek workouts where we're doing like, you know, uh, 20 minutes of like one minute hard, one minute easy, where you're running at, at 5K effort on your hard efforts and you're running like at a, just relax on your easy uh, recovery. Those types of workouts, uh, it, it's it's a mixture of a lot of different things to get to a point where you can break a two-hour half marathon. And it all comes down to practicing running at, near, or far below your goal half marathon race pace. For you to break two hours for the half marathon, you need to run nine minutes and nine seconds per mile, and I think it's five minutes and 41 seconds per kilometer for the 21-kilometer race or the 13.1-mile race. Okay, so you, you have to practice running at paces that are far faster than that okay for when i was a, uh, a still a 240 marathoner i was continually focusing on running at paces that were faster than 525 per mile this 21935 comes out to five minutes and 19 seconds per mile for the 26.2 mile distance uh, i'm not real sure what it what i ran per kilometer uh, i'm guessing probably around 320 per k uh, 325 something like that but I was continually doing repeat miles under five minutes. I was doing long, my long runs, my harder pace long runs in between the 530s to 550s per, per mile uh, at altitude leading into this race. And I, I did a 10-day taper as well. So I also preach that in my training programs, my running courses, and on all of these videos. I believe in a 10-day taper rather than dropping your mileage three weeks out. If you do this, Consider, if you want to get under two hours for the half marathon, continue to do the, those types of workouts where I talk about doing VO2 max workouts once per week. Lengthen the amount of time you're spending at your anaerobic threshold. Your anaerobic threshold is about 85% of your maximum heart rate. Okay, Early on in your training block, it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to sustain that effort for even like two to four miles. Be patient with yourself. No, again, this is a long-term game. If you believe in yourself and you stay with this long enough, you will succeed. You will get under the two-hour half marathon. And again, if I would have quit when I had all of my own setbacks, when I had all those doubts that I had, I would have never ran this time. I finished as the, in, in fourth place overall. I was the top American in the race. Um, and, and there were athletes that I was competing against this day that were far better than me. In fact, the, the Russian that finished behind me in fifth place, he ran 223, and his personal best for the half marathon, or for the marathon this morning was 212. Okay, so everybody has setbacks, everybody has bad days, but it's how you handle those hard, those, those hard tough days, you know, those, those workouts that go bad, those races that go bad. Um, it's how you handle that is, which is going to, that's going to dictate how successful you are at breaking the two hour half marathon. Continue to focus on your goal, rely on your work ethic, go to, you know, go to rundreamachieve.com. There are resources there for you. I'll leave some below this video as well. And I, I hope this video has been helpful for you more, more so for the motivational aspect than, um, than, than anything else. You know, we, there's a lot of videos I've made over specific workouts you can do to run a faster half marathon. Uh, but I really believe the motivational aspect of preparation is is enormous, and it's a big piece of the puzzle that a lot of athletes that are trying to break the two-hour half marathon miss. 
So I really hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or if there's a specific topic you want me to cover in my next video, feel free to uh, leave a comment below this video. I also have another website called nutritiongeeks.com that I where I cover Herbalife Nutrition and the business opportunity of the company. That is a huge resource for you as well. I'll leave uh, links below this video for you to uh, reference that as well. So uh, I wish you guys all the best. Please keep me posted on your progress in your preparation leading up to your sub two hour half marathon. I really want to hear about it. And um, I wish you all the best. Uh, I know you can do it, but it's really about, like I said, persistent work, nonstop, aggressive, tenacious work. Bottom line, you are not going to be great in this sport unless you are willing to do what most people, most athletes are unwilling to do. And the athletes that are out there putting in the work, getting the results, are the most persistent athletes out there. And I, I, I'm just telling you from my own experience, this type of time does not come by being interested. And a sub two hour half marathon is not going to come by being interested. You've got to be committed. You have to believe in yourself. Rely on the heart that God, that God gave you and get out the door and continue to put in that heavy work. Utilize the resources on RunDreamAchieve.com. Continue to check out the other videos that are on this channel. I also have uh, the Herbalite or the uh, Nutrition Geeks Herbalife Success Team uh, YouTube channel, which you can also, uh, I'll leave a link below this video as well, where you can go there and you can subscribe. Click the bell icon. Um, if you're new to this channel, click on subscribe, click on the bell icon. So when I make new videos, you'll be notified of uh, new videos that I've made about training here and as well as about uh, nutrition and Herbalife on my other YouTube channel. So wish you all the best. Keep me posted on your training. I know you can do it. And good luck with your, your preparation. Maintain focus. Get out the door. Put in the heavy work and you'll get the results.